Sports! Let's talk about that. What's happening, the Eagles? I'm Colton Jewell. And I'm Dave Porter, and this is Sports Talk. We're going to start off talking about the Miami... The U game. <laughs> <laughs> this Duke. Miami versus Duke. The last play of the game. I'm sure you guys all saw it. Eight laterals to get in the end zone, and the refs messed up the call. The refs actually got suspended for two games after that happened. What do you think about that, Colton? I mean... I thought it was crazy how they could have uh, pulled that one off. It's like the music, uh, music scene miracle when the Titans did it. Yeah, but it was illegal. It shouldn't have happened. No. The guy was down and he pitched the ball. Yep. And the refs missed it. The ACC ex- suspended them. I mean, hey, you mess up. Everyone makes mistakes. Everyone they, has those days. <laughs> they were saying that the ACC should overturn the, the victory. What do you say about that? I mean, I feel like it's too late. Because they already won. Like, I know like it's pretty bogus that um, Duke lost because of that, but it already happens over. Can't do anything about it now with, unless they like, replay the game. But yeah, and they were that. saying like there has to be another – You can't. the game can't end on a penalty also. Yeah. So they'd have to replay like a whole down and everything, and that would just be way too much to happen. So now we're going to go to the NFL season where the Cincinnati Bengals beat the Pittsburgh Steelers in a great game. Mm-hmm. And but running back Le'Veon Bell got hurt. Oh, he – he tore his MCL. Yeah, it was bad. And Ben Roethlisberger just came back for us from a strained MCL, and he did not have a very good game. Mm-hmm. Well, good thing he's back because Mike Vick was struggling with them. Yeah, they even went to their other quarterback, and he started struggling too. He did better than Michael Vick, but I really wish Michael Vick could have done well. Yeah. There's a lot of injuries this week in the NFL season. We got Matt Forte and as well as Le'Veon Bell, Matt Forte. Mm-hmm. Tweaked and, his ankle again. And then Steve Smith, I believe he tore his Achilles, correct? Yeah, he's and this was supposed to be his last year playing. And they were saying he might come back, he might not. He's a great player. And he's I ranked, believe he'll come back. He's ranked in the top ten receptions ever. So I believe he'll come back. He's a warrior. And now the tight now the Titans. They fired their coach. Or was it Ken? Ken Wisenhunt. Yep. He was. He had a, the worst record in the NFL since he was there. Mm-mm-mm. And he had. He was given Marcus Mariota, and he just couldn't make it happen. So, yeah. uh, who do you think they're gonna hire? I don't know. I feel like they're gonna go down to the college level and try to pick out a coach. But no, no. Luke Mertens. <laughs> coach. <laughs> um. But now on to the 49ers. They're benching Colin Kaepernick. Oh, for, what do you think? for Blaine Gabbard, what do you he's think not much that? better. I mean, 49ers have been struggling this whole year. Because eh, they lost a bunch of not defensive players. struggling enough to put Blaine Gabbard in. We all saw him in the Jaguars. Dave, 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 Dave. Do you, you don't like Blaine Gabbard, do you? <laughs> Almost worse than I like Tim Tebow. Okay. I'm hurt. <laughs> I like some people less, though, than Blaine Gabbert. Blaine Gabbert can actually, like, spread the field, you know, make some throws. You know what Tim Tebow hasn't done? Throw seven passing touchdowns in one game like Drew Brees did, and Eli Manning threw for six more that game, which was 13 and the most combined in an NFL game ever. Well, yeah, I mean, most quarterbacks tend not to do that because they have a good rushing ability, too. But, I mean, if you want to put it like that, yes, Tim Tebow has not done that. But a lot of other great quarterbacks have not done that as well. So, it's like a chill pill here, David. <laughs> but it was a great game. The Saints ended up winning on a field goal, 52-49. to 49. It was a scary field goal. <laughs> they got really unlucky. A penalty at the end put them right in field goal range, and they ended up winning the game on the last second. So, mm-hmm. Well, that's it for this week. I'm Colton Jewell. And I'm Dave Porter. Thanks for listening, Eagles.